Welcome back, Blade Gang. This old sword with you. And before I even get started here, I have to thank Peter from Therapeutic Edge for the lead on this particular blade. I've gotten a few concept, excuse me, there I go again, concept knives <laughs> recently, and I've done two reviews, one on the Prickle by Max Tuchuk, and one on the Main Street full size by Dirk Pinkerton, both from Concept Knives. So when given the opportunity to get a really large knife, I jump on it. Uh, especially one that's got deep carry clip and a tall blade and all right I'll leave it at that as far as the intro goes let's take a look at what is in the box in front of us here we have the concept either helix or helix however you'd like to pronounce that and it is a design by Mikkel Willemson I believe I pronounced his first name correctly. If not, apologies, Mr. Willemson. And uh, we'll get into the specs. The box uh, sometimes has the right specs on it, sometimes doesn't. Anyway, this is a model T1008A1. And as usual, we have to slide the drawer out on the concept knives. It's kind of neat it's a rigid well-made box I'm not here to rate the boxes but since I encounter them anyway let's go ahead and do that you get a nice packet inside including your microfiber cloth with the uh, concept logo on it and some warranty work and whatever else inside the box see I took it out of the bag cheated we have a nice black pouch with a flap. Not a zipper, but a flap. And they're the only ones so far to do the flap thing. So once out of the box, here is what we have. A large size liner locking folding knife with that deep carry clip I was talking about. G10 handles, steel frame, let's check that, oh yeah, steel frame, not aluminum, not titanium, but steel, and that same frame, I believe, is going to give you your liner, which are blue in this case, don't worry, we'll open it again and take another look. But this is what I am comfortable with, a large knife, and particularly one with a full finger choil on the blade. Beautiful jimping, really aggressive, but you know, unless you're rubbing your thumb on it, it's not going to abrade your skin. We've got a uh, nice slotted lanyard hole built into a G10 backspacer almost a full backspacer and here we have some other very useful jimping that's cut right through the steel liners and through the G10 backspacer the clip unfortunately is not reversible. I see no means by which we could put that on the left side of the knife so sorry lefties you're out of luck unless you want to become righties. And a little bit of it's a D2 blade so before you all go running away and saying oh no D2 I'm sick of D2 let me bring up um, something from knife steel compositions so reading to you from knife steel compositions on D2 here is the makeup gotta get that 
Here's the makeup of D2. You can screenshot that. And there is what I'm going to read you very briefly. First appeared during World War II, a semi-stainless tool steel, very popular even today. Pretty much every steel manufacturer makes it, and it's quite popular with knife makers, custom and factory alike. Composition-wise, it's almost a stainless steel, resists rust pretty well, good edge holding, and okay toughness. Bob Dozier is perhaps the most acknowledged expert of D2 steel knives. So, that brings us back to the Hell X or Helix, however you'd like to assume it's pronounced, by Mikkel Williamson, Willemson, and he's from Copenhagen. And I have a little blurb on him as well, bear with me. And I like to give some background where it's available. This is the Concept Helix is a full-size tactical EDC folder. You can hold on to the back of the handle for added leverage in use or choke up into the choil for precise cuts. The knife is designed by Mikkel Willemson, who is known for his large practical designs. The blade has a very gentle tanto profile, and we're going to look at that in a minute, making the knife great for utility tasks, but not so drastic that it loses belly. We wouldn't want to lose our belly now, would we? I think I need to lose mine, though, <laughs> especially during COVID times here. Um, okay, so specifications. This is what they say, and then I'm going to check them on a few things. Overall length, 9 inches. Blade length, 3.625. Cutting edge, 3.875. That is interesting. Blade width, one and a half inches. Blade thickness, 0.14 inches. D2 steel, considered to be a Tonto blade style. Flat ground, stone wash. Uh, handle length, 5.25 inches. Handle width, 1.50. Handle thickness, 0.5 inches. And it's in black G10 and stainless steel, as I said earlier. However, I'm really a little suspect of the dimensions given. So we're going to double check a couple of those. So they're saying it's got a longer cutting edge than blade length. So what I'm seeing is about three and three quarter cutting edge. And yep, that's where it shortens up to that point. We get roughly three and five eighths overall length. So because of the point out on the handle there, that shortens the measurable blade length. So I get it, but you got a three and three quarter inch cutting edge. And they're probably true that yes, it is nine inches. And um, the thickness in millimeters, we're just going to get that real quick. So let's get that right up here. 3.6 millimeters. And the handle width is 0.5. The thickness, rather, is 0.5 inches, which is great. That makes it a slim knife for its size. And uh, what was the weight on this guy? 5.57 ounces, 5.5 ounces. Really not too bad for this size knife. Um, there is or is not weight relieving inside. There is some weight relieving near the rear, right there, nope, and through the middle. On the show side of the knife. So that helps to lighten it up a little bit. Let's take a look around. Really great jimping, as I said. You know, the blade is really interesting, is that I think that did that just to tell you that it's a Tonto. I can see the first sharpening taking that little point right off of there and just giving a nice even belly. And I would do that. Um, it gives you a little secondary point there, but I mean, that is barely not, barely a Tonto, if you ask me. I've seen other 
blades try to do this other grinds and designs on blades try to do this but this is just about imperceptible it's a slightly different angle there but you know again if I sharpened this on say a KME I would go right over that hump and just make it a drop point forget about the Tonto you can have your opinion on that but that's just a little dimple there in the blade just about anyway it's not a big deal it's very sharp as it is and um, I don't do too many cutting tests lately so let's give you a cutting test I don't get to use notebook paper much anymore yeah. so let's destroy a piece of paper with holes in it Wow that's a laser let's get this in focus for you effortless that's really really nice for a big blade and that is a flat grind high grind so you've got a pretty thin edge there I'm not going to measure it out at the moment one thing I'm going to try to do is put these dimensions um, in the video so you can see them down below at some point in the video we'll say right about at this point you should be seeing them come up now um, deep carry clip as I said uh, right side only right hand only and how is the action pretty smooth it is on bearings got to get over the detent hump but with more than a little bit of effort it'll go like that I noticed that the detent is not real strong easily fail it it's more that it doesn't it isn't that it doesn't have resistance there's a fair amount of resistance there it's that it's fairly smooth it's not super defined in fact you could start that out like that and roll it right out does that mean it's going to swing free with that much effort no if I go like that yeah I can get it out if I try I don't know how this will work on the camera reverse flip can't get it all at once because I'm going to hit the tabletop let's see if I can show off and do it once are we ready yeah there we go so yeah if you like to open your knife that way and we used to lighten our detent so we could <laughs> then you can drop the blade down and end up in a point down position speaking of which beautiful position for the thumb there in point down and you got an exact 90 degrees from the forearm which is exactly how I like it um, I mentioned there's jimping on the back I think I did show that that's also very non-slip you get your palm in there and your hand between this choil or this choil your hands not sliding around it's really really nice well, let's take a look at the Helix next to another big knife of late that is the Sandstorm K from Max Ace and you know what large as the Hell X is the Sandstorm K definitely dwarfs it it is a massive knife massively heavy too and massively drop shutting <laughs> in my EDC today the amalgam is going to be a little longer in the blade mainly there's a similar point on the handle that we would need to measure from but yeah the blades a little longer the handle is almost identical on the amalgam so the amalgam is actually you know coming up on like 3.9 inches or better well we've got um, well really uh, what did I say three and five eighths on that one but concept is turning out a big knife here 
I don't know if there's any larger from Concept. I think this is their biggest. This does come in uh, titanium and S35VN for about $190. Um, this was like 55 to 59 I think. And this did come from White Mountain Knives, so don't forget to use your discount code for 10% off Old Sword. I appreciate your stopping by. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, beautiful ergos on this knife. Uh, very comfortable. Uh, if you like to choke up, you like that forward finger choil, definitely it's a go. Uh, and you know, it's worth the risk because you're not spending a whole lot of money and you are getting a great lockup. Let's take a look at that. That's something else. It's not the blade. <laughs> um, that was my reflector. Just great ergos, however you want to hold it. Nice, thin handle. And you can swallow that up in your hand. And I can see why Peter liked it. Kudos to you, Peter. And uh, heal up. I hear, I hear you're going in for a little surgery. So uh, as of uh, mid to end of March... Um, Hope you work, that works out well for you, sir. Shout out to you and um, best to everybody over on your channel. So this old sword, signing out. Make sure you give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe. Still working on 1,000, almost there. Take care.